most painful animal stings you can experience. Forget everything you know, mankind is not the most powerful creature out there. In fact, there are some bugs, fish, and animals that, despite being a lot smaller than us, can pack a serious wallop. These are the most painful animal stings you can experience. Number 15. Tarantula Sting there are more than 1,000 different species of tarantula that can be found across the southern hemisphere and some territories in the northern hemisphere. They range in size from no bigger than a pea to a leg span of a dinner plate. And for those who don't like spiders, can be terrifying. Most species are, however, quite docile. But this doesn't mean you'd want to risk being bitten by one. Every species of tarantula is venomous, and even though most are no worse than a wasp sting, there are a few that can cause severe pain and discomfort. A bite from the king baboon spider, for example, can lead to hallucinations and extreme muscle cramps, and a bite from a spider with large fangs, like many tarantulas have, always runs the risk of secondary infection. The other thing to be wary of with tarantulas is that the ones from the New World have barbed bristles on their abdomens, that they can shoot at threats as the first line of defense. They can puncture corneas and eyes and cause serious irritation to the skin. It's therefore recommended to always wear eye protection if you're handling one of these species, and protective gloves too, to prevent them from biting and piercing the skin. Like this video, smash the subscribe button, and click the notification bell right now, or this centipede will crawl on your face when you're sleeping. Now it's time for the juicy topic. You might think that the humble and tiny fly is no match for the strength and might of the human being. Think again. The sting of the pesky little botfly packs a serious bunch. Botflies look a little bit like a furry bee, yet they can unleash significantly more damage. Botflies are not passive. They actively seek out warm-blooded creatures, and that includes you and me. In their short lifespan, their mission is to lay as many eggs as they can. This is where things get gruesome. The reason they seek out warm-blooded animals is that they like to sting them, and that very sting transfers their eggs into the blood of their victim. The sting of a botfly may feel tiny at first, but that's just the beginning. Once the eggs are in you, they will soon hatch, and the baby botflies will continuously nibble at your flesh non-stop, until they have matured enough to fly away. I don't know about you, but I feel seriously sick. Should you ever find yourself stung by a botfly with no immediate access to medical aid, a handy trick is to lay cooked bacon strips across the affected area. This will draw the baby flies out of your skin, as they would much rather eat bacon than soil and green. Remember to comment down below with the hashtag JuicyTopic and let us know your opinion in relation to what we just showed on screen. And now, to the next topic. Number 14. A Black Mamba Snake Bite Black mambas are a species of snake that's native to some regions of Africa. They are the second longest venomous snakes in the world, and typically grow to up to 10 feet long. They're easily identifiable by their gray to dark brown color, and if you ever come across one, it'd be wise to keep well ground and in trees and can move at speeds of up to 10 miles per hour. There are no natural predators of this species, so they spend a little time watching out for danger and focus on chasing down their next meal. They're aggressive, will attack when they feel threatened, and usually strike numerous times in quick succession. And normally symptoms of their effects will start to happen within 10 minutes. You might experience a slight metallic taste in your mouth droopy eyelids, blurry vision, sleepiness, and difficulty breathing before dying if an antivenom isn't administered in time. It's one of the nastiest snake bites in the whole world and is why black mambas are the most feared species on the whole continent. Number 13. Bullet Ant Sting Bullet ants are native to the rainforest regions of Nicaragua, Honduras, Paraguay, and elsewhere in South America, and are notorious among communities in the area because of their painful sting. In Venezuela, they're called the 24-hour ants, in reference to the fact that you'll still be feeling the effects more than a day later. The name bullet ant is more common, though, and came from the way that being bitten by one indicates a similar level of pain to being shot.
They grow to up to around 1.2 inches long and look like large wasps without wings. The most noticeable feature is, of course, their jaws, but it's their stingers that you have to be careful of. They aren't a particularly aggressive species, but are unrelenting when it comes to protecting their nest. The sting injects a neurotoxin called ponerotoxin, which interferes with the central nervous system. It can lead to symptoms such as the swelling of the lymph nodes, swelling of the limbs, and irregular heartbeat. And it's common to also see blood in the feces, following a sting. It's one of the most painful stings you can experience anywhere in the world, but it's rarely deadly unless you're allergic to it. Some tribes in the Amazon usually use bullet ants in an initiation ritual where boys are required to wear a glove that has hundreds of them sewn into it. And successful completion of this challenge is the first step to them entering adulthood. Number 12. Box Jellyfish if you're swimming in the waters of the Indo-Pacific or even further afield in the Atlantic and Pacific Oceans, keep an eye out for a box jellyfish, because the last thing you want is to be stung by one of their long tentacles. There are more than 51 different known species, each of which typically has the recognizable box-shaped bell and tentacles hanging from their edges. They can grow to around 8 inches along each edge of the box, and their tentacles are up to 10 feet long. They each contain more than half a million nidocytes, which are microscopic harpoon-shaped structures, and are how they inject venom into their victims. Oh. We'll even leave a little bit on. The venom itself is believed to be one of the most dangerous in the world and interferes with the rigidity of cell structures, which means they become porous and lose minerals into the bloodstream. The elevated levels in the blood cause knock-on effects to the cardiovascular system and can lead to serious problems within 5 or 10 minutes of the sting. Even though different species have varying levels of toxicity, a sting by any of them will most certainly be painful and cause you discomfort for several days. While some are capable of killing a person before they have time to get back to shore and seek assistance. Number 11. Arizona Bark Scorpion Growing to a size of just over 3 inches, it's quite easy to walk up on an Arizona bark scorpion without seeing it until you're really close. But don't mistake their size for their danger, because these creatures have an incredibly effective defense mechanism. They are native to the southern desert that crosses the border between the southern US and northern Mexico, and are the most venomous species of scorpion in North America. They've developed this ability because there are lots of different different animals that prey on them. But their venom is particularly potent to humans. Hundreds of thousands of people are thought to be stung each year, and each suffers a range of symptoms such as severe pain at the sting site, ah! numbness, tingles, and vomiting all of which can last for three days. Those that have suffered a sting often describe it as being similar to being subjected to repeated electric shocks, and it doesn't relent. Fortunately, very few people die from these scorpion stings, but there is a small risk it may lead to heart failure too. Number 10. Leaf Cutter Ant Leaf cutter ants can be found across South and Central America, where they collect vegetation to take back to their colonies and use it to grow a specialized form of fungus that they feed on. They can carry up to 20 times their own weight and have extremely sharp pincers that are used to cut leaves into manageable sizes. There are actually at least 47 different species and, after humans, they're the most organized communities of any known animal species on Earth. They can, however, be a pest to agricultural animals enterprises, and destroy crops, roads, and farmland while creating their nests. Some species can strip trees of all their foliage within the space of 24 hours, and those that try to get in their way can risk suffering the consequences. They are more than capable of piercing human skin, and if enough leafcutters feel the need to defend themselves, this can be extremely harmful to a person. <laughs> it's like having hundreds of paper cuts all over your body, and each incision is highly likely to become infected and cause further complications. If a swarm of them ever encroaches on your land, your best bet is to leave them to it and pick up the pieces afterward. Number 9. Black Widow Spider Bites 
Black widows are small spiders with bodies that are no more than half an inch long, that are usually identifiable by their shiny black color and red or orange hourglass markings on their abdomens. There are 32 different species, with those that are native to most continents of the world, and all of them have a powerful bite. Their venom contains latrotoxin, which, when injected into the human body, can cause muscle pain, cramps, excessive sweating, abnormal heart rhythms, and muscle spasms. Following a bite, these symptoms can last for several weeks, and depending on the dose of venom, can be extremely unpleasant. Fortunately, however, black widows aren't aggressive and will only bite when they feel threatened. Fatalities are also incredibly rare unless a victim has underlying health conditions, and it's actually thought that in the US alone, 2,200 people are bitten each year, most of which don't even require medical treatment. Still, that doesn't mean you should approach them without caution, because even if your life isn't at risk, you could still be in line for a miserable experience. Number 8. European Hornet Stings of all the different species of wasp in Europe, the European hornet is by far the largest. They can grow to up to 1.4 inches long, with a wingspan that's about equal to that. Only the females have stingers, and they're a carnivorous species that prey upon insects like beetles, wasps, dragonflies, and moths. They build papery nests, which are created by chewing up twigs and branches until it's soft and malleable. Contrary to belief, they aren't actually aggressive at all, but they will have no problems with attacking if they feel that they have no choice. The main danger from their sting is simply because they're so much larger than other bees or wasps, and the wound they inflict can easily become infected. It hurts a lot too, and has the potential to lead to further complications if enough venom makes its way into the bloodstream. Ah! In rare cases, a sting from a European hornet has caused an irregular heartbeat, headaches, and a shortness of breath. While there are many people who are allergic to stings like this and may require medical assistance. Number 7. Western Honeybee the western honeybee is the most common species of bee around the world, and are the ones that we see flying around fields and gardens collecting nectar to make honey. They're one of the first insect species known to be domesticated for human purposes, and are integral to the pollination of most of the planet's most important crops. They are non-aggressive, but as their sole purpose is to provide for the colony, they quite literally put their lives on the line to protect it. Their stingers are connected to a venom sac, which is itself connected to their digestive tract. So when they sting a target, their internal organs are pulled out with it, and this causes them to die. With so much on the line, stings have to be worth it. They are barbed, so stay in the target's skin, and until they're removed, the venom sac can continue to pump venom through the needle-like stinger. Pain soon sets in, and the symptoms depend entirely on how much venom is released. Symptoms can range from a minor itch to swelling, redness, and a shock reaction. While those that are allergic to some of the compounds the venom contains can suffer life-threatening injuries that, in some cases, will lead to death. Number 6. Japanese Giant Hornet Japanese giant hornets are the largest species of hornet in the world, and can grow to be as long as 1.6 inches, with a wingspan of 2.5 inches. They have yellow heads with two large compound eyes, and three smaller eyes between them, a brown thorax, and a yellow and black striped abdomen. It's a species that's native to all of the islands of Japan, and they tend to keep to rural locations where they build their nests in trees. As carnivores, they prey on insects and are a particular threat to farmers who keep honeybees, because they can cause a colony collapse in a very short time. One hornet can kill 40 bees a minute, and a group of 30 hornets has been known to destroy a hive of 30,000 bees in just a matter of hours. They can be dangerous towards humans as well, thanks to their potent venom that targets the central nervous system. They inject it through their quarter of an inch long stinger and can be so painful that a victim needs to seek hospital treatment to try and alleviate the symptoms. Ah! Oh, this thing stuck in my arm! Oh! If someone who isn't allergic to stings is stung more than 10 times, they'll need to visit a doctor, while 30 stings are enough to warrant emergency attention, with kidney failure being the main risk. Number 5. Bald-Faced Hornet 
Found across the US and Canada, the bald-faced hornet isn't actually a species of hornet, but is instead a type of wasp. But this doesn't mean you should take it any less seriously. Their colonies can contain as much as 700 individuals, which are up to an inch in length, and they build large hanging paper nests. Unusually for wasps, they have no yellow coloring and are, instead, black and white. And this species is known for being far more aggressive than most. If they detect anything entering the area around their nest, they tend to attack first and ask questions later. Each individual will sting a target repeatedly, and each time can inject a full load of venom. This means that the more you're stung, the more pain you'll experience and the greater the risk of further problems. Humans tend to experience severe pain, itching, and rashes for up to a day after a sting. But there have been a number of cases where hospitalization has been needed and, in some instances, complications have led to death. Number 4. Yellow Jacket Yellow jackets are a species of predatory wasps that are native to North America, and are usually yellow and black in color. Although some may have yellow and red coloration instead, they have easily recognizable markings, and they also have a telltale side-to-side -side movement in flight when they're about to land. The workers grow to around half an inch long, and they're a vital part of an ecosystem where they prey on, and subsequently control populations of other insects. Of course, the stinger that the females use to target their prey can also be used on humans, and can be quite nasty. They usually cause extreme pain at the sight of the sting as well as swelling and itchiness, but in some cases can cause coughing, difficulties breathing, dizziness, vomiting, and a body-wide rash. If any of these more serious symptoms develop, urgent medical attention could be sought just in case it's a sign of an allergic reaction. Even though they're so common and most people pay them very little attention, stings from yellow jackets are responsible for several deaths a year across the US and cause many more people to spend weeks under medical supervision. Number 3. Spider Wasp Spider wasps are a solitary wasp species that, instead of existing in large colonies, keep to themselves and rely on their ability to capture and paralyze their prey before digesting it. There are actually more than 5,000 different species, each of which have their own unique attributes, and they can be found in regions across the world, although are more common in South America and Africa. Their stings are all very similar, however, and they have venom that contains a potent neurotoxin called pompilidotoxin. It targets the neurons in the brain and prevent the regulated flow of chemicals through their membranes, which results in nerve impulses that can affect virtually every part of the body. As their name would suggest, they're known for attacking and consuming spiders, sometimes ones as big as tarantulas, and their venom is perfectly suited to help them do this. Stings from this species are said to be some of the most painful from any animal in the world, and are described as being blinding, fierce, and shockingly electric. It's said to be what you imagine it would feel like to drop a hairdryer in the bath with you, and is most definitely not something you would want to willingly endure. Number 2. Cow Killer Sting Cow killer wasps are a collective of more than 5,000 different species which are different from others in that the females are wingless and look more like giant hairy ants, hence their other name, the velvet ant. They can be orange, white, black, silver, or gold, and are found in regions across the world. They are a solitary species and act alone in their search for prey, and they aren't a particularly aggressive species, only ever attacking as a means of defense. Their venom isn't fully understood, but is less toxic than that of a honeybee. But there is more to a sting than just its toxicity, and those who have experienced one from a cow killer don't look back on it fondly. Ah. According to researchers who purposefully received stings from some of the most potent animals on Earth, there are only two or three things that hurt more than the cow killer sting, and it's said to be so painful that you can't even think straight for at least half an hour. Normally up to an inch in length, they tend to live in fields and meadows, and are most active in the evenings. If you ever see one, approach with caution, because it could be the beginning of a bad night if you get too close. Number 1. Fire Ants 
There are more than 200 species of fire ant around the world, and they're notorious for their group behavior and their vicious sting. They build large mound colonies and scour the local landscape for small insects for them to feed on. Instead of attacking by biting and spraying acid like most ant species, fire ants bite into their victim and hold on tight while repeatedly stinging them with the stinger on their abdomens. They are a highly aggressive species, and this means that even though humans are much larger than their usual prey, they will still attack if they feel their colony is at threat. Their stings are very painful and cause a fiery burning sensation along with a dark red rash. The sting site will then raise up into a bump. And after a few days, white dots will form, which can become infected if scratched. The problem from a fire ant isn't just one sting, but the way that they sting multiple times, and call others to the scene to attack too. It's quite possible you could be stung many hundreds of times before getting away, and the accumulation of all the venom can cause allergic reactions even in people who don't normally have allergies. Which of these sounded the worst to you? Have you ever been stung by one of the animals we mentioned? Make sure to let us know in the comments section. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. See you next time.